Franklin County. President Joe Biden has signed an executive order to begin discussions with Canada to plan the eventual reopening of America's northern border. So the big question, how might this planning affect the Green Mountain states? Well, Local 44's Mike Hoey joins us live tonight in the newsroom with a look at this. Hi, Mike. Hi, Lauren. Well, by Thursday, February 4th, U.S. officials need to give the White House a plan for additional health and safety measures at both the northern and southern borders. I think we just all want the same thing. We just want to open up the borders as quick as we can when it's safe to do so. Governor Phil Scott says he hasn't heard anything specific about how any potential border plan would affect Vermont, but he says he and Financial Regulation Commissioner Michael Pichak monitor border-related developments carefully. We keep track of that data on a daily basis, watching what's happening in Quebec in particular, uh, because it does impact us, just like our, it's part of our region. Uh, so we want to, you know, we want to get there where the borders open up as quick as possible, but we don't want to uh, get there quicker than we can take care of it either. Americans and Canadians have been barred from non-essential travel across the border for more than 10 months. Scott acknowledged neither country has as strong a handle on the virus as they'd like. We still see the positivity rate uh, is, is escalated uh, from where it was during the summer. Uh, so we have some concerns. They have concerns about what they're seeing in the U.S. as well, particularly in states uh, that border us like uh, New York, for instance. Their, their cases have increased dramatically. On Tuesday, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau warned Canadians to cancel travel plans not only to the U.S., but domestically and to expect tighter travel restrictions in the near future. Nothing is off the table. We will not hesitate to take even tougher measures if and when they're needed, and we'll be making an announcement in the coming days. It's still not clear yet what kind of response Biden's executive order will draw from Mexico's president, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, who revealed on Sunday that he himself has tested positive for COVID-19. Live in the newsroom, Mike Hoey, Local 44 News. Mike, thank you. In Vermont, some students at Norwich 